What's up guys, so previously we left off with Enryu being at 180k power and the only thing left for him to do is get some fates. So today we will see how far we can power him up. Actually I forgot, I have to go ahead and do a... Uh, I have to unlock Blue Theresa Bomb in order to get fate going, so... So let's take a look at what you need just to unlock him. You will need uh, to have Step 4 of First Storm Bomb. Hardship below stage 17 for Great Family. Right Spot Training 255. Tower 150. Level 165. 35 sets of Kranos. 170 for Shinsu Reinforcement. And then you can just clear the dungeon. So, this also means that we can now make one of every single family team with Bomb. And it probably means that Data Breach is going to be the next function coming out within the next two months of Global. But here we can use whoever we'd like. I'll just keep this for now, and then we're going to switch. No, oh, that was simple enough. No, oh, that was great, actually. I mean, I also forgot to use Enryu. I could have used Enryu and put him in a team, but uh, I guess I'm not used to using him yet, so. We're gonna unlock him. Probably the best main character that there is right now. I mean, I don't see. Uh, he's just gonna be used for, like, everything besides Administrator, I believe. So now we're going to the things to power him up, and I have what it takes. There's no dungeon? So for step two, you need to have three million gold. Or no, you get three million gold. You gotta do step five of first storm bomb. Get affinity grade four with love. Rise pot 275. Power 170. 55 in Kranos, so that's real close. 170 for level. 200 for fisherman. And then you gotta be level stage 19 for hardship. So uh, with that, I can get him transcend one as well. And great family is another group of units in this game. Wow, 22 Starlights. Fucking juicy. But it's just another thing where they have really bad gear too. Because they're not going to get attack speed or magic resist. So, uh... Oh, so you can only get that. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good because I feel like the next one would have probably been like, I can't finish it. Um, but yeah, you can only get him with one dupe in right now. So I do have this, which would actually work for him. Because he's also physical damage. Um... But it's not worked on, and I was going to work on it for Bong Bong, but now all my plans went out the window. I don't need to work on Ron. Bong Bong's going to fall off. We got Enryu now. Sachi doesn't need to get worked on. It's like, Enryu is just here now. So I, and then we're going to Anox Bond skill shortly, so I got to work on a Nox weapon, which, funny enough, I used to have it, but I dismantled it. But when I do that gear pass thing, I can actually choose a tier 1 Legendary weapon, I probably would pick a Nox, but we'll see. I mean, everything's going all over the place. Only thing that's good about it is that you're going to eventually need to have every single weapon, every single piece of gear maxed out anyway, so it's not really that bad. It's not really horrible for you to get a mistake. Uh, for this, though, so I'm only going to get the 14% physical damage boost. Because it's not for him, so I guess I'll just stick with the fancy blood dagger. We might as well just be generous and give him a refine, so... Yeah, perfect, I mean... Anything counts at this point. I can also level it. Oh, I gotta fix the gear. His gear is also the same thing, where it's just like... I don't even have great... Yeah, I don't even have great family uh, gear. But it's the same issue. Just physical damage. Great. No attack speed. Only Tower Climber and Fug are the same too, and that's why... Tower Climber and Fug units are like so top tier with the gear choices. Everything else is kind of struggling, so let's fix the gear up. Probably doesn't even need to get... Like, he could probably go for the gloves from Great Family, because you don't really need him to do damage. Unfortunately, though, I don't have an ignition weapon for him. Because it just came out, but we do have Great Family ignition weapon. 
we can give him that. And it will allow me to use him. As well as unlock the art. So that's the art for him. Gotta work for the accessories though. That's a huge power. But no idea. That's probably gonna be for a separate video coming up. I mean, this is much going on in one. And then I can also get one dupe, so... There's an additional 100% damage. He'll probably still do better than First Thorn. Bomb, but then again, I mean, probably won't. Doesn't have any fate skills. I can't even get any reuse thing. It's not even anywhere in the game yet. Now let's focus on the fate. So, unlocking Blue Theresa Bomb, and he is the first and only unit on this right now. So, if it wasn't for Enryu, like... Would not be anything. Let me just reset everything else so I can fix the rest. So we're going through the shops, I actually noticed they added new things to the God's Breath and God's Trace, which I think was mentioned. So we now have refined stones in here. Which is not bad, honestly. I mean, 250 each for 5 is pretty good. 3,000 for an armor stone is kind of heavy, but 5,000 for a weapon is insane. Uh, I could probably clear it out, and I'm going to probably do it at least once. When I upgrade the gear, I'm going to try to see if I can min-max anything. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of pricey, really pricey person. So I gotta get my weekly gift boxes for fate. Uh, that God's Trace, now you can get flowers of Zagana from this every single week, which I don't know who would be buying that. Or you can get Refined Stones, which I think this one is very worth it. I mean, these are pretty much dead. I have like nothing to use them for besides gift boxes, so I will... Definitely be picking up refined stones every week. And then the selector still doesn't have Hawaki now, I guess, so. We also have the Soul Stone gift, epic gift box. And then I'll come back to that later. So I did reset the fates. I think it was only me saying and Wang then. I can't remember if it was anyone else to do. Probably wasn't. So now I can go to Enryu, so he is getting the royal treatment, basically. I have to get him all the way to 25. There we have it, I have Enryu's thing at 25 now. Lutherista Bomb is going to give you, that's how you get Enryu's book, actually. At uh, level 31, get Enryu's fate skill. Nothing in the 50s, though, but um, yeah, we need to wait for the next set of releases for this. I would not imagine that, like, in three months' time, we're at this point of this game. With all four main characters, and Enryu out in white, and all this is just, like, insane for global release. I have been using Starlight to raise power, so, um... I don't know what else to really do besides go for 25s that I'm going to use, and it's just not gonna happen. I think Rock is something I might change to next, but... Until the Bond skill, I'm not doing it. So I am just going for all the hero units to get them all to 30 and then I can pretty much prioritize whatever at that point. Um, so whoever I want to get, don't think it even matters, I'm just doing Viol since he's my highest main. So I'm just gonna do all that real quick, use up my starlights and then we'll come back to see how much power I'm gonna go up from this. Well, that's pretty much it. You only get Horyong, you only get Novik. It's because they gotta go to 25, which is 25 Starlights, and they gotta go 50 for 30. And that's like the last step to finally get some kind of power from this. You'll probably min-max this if I go ahead and look around what stats every single affinity gives at the end. I'm only doing for uh, hero units because I do end up getting, having to use less fates for it. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just whatever. I mean... Love is pretty good, though, because it's giving attack speed and crit, so I feel like I should have probably done that instead of going for one of these. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I gotta get them all anyway. So I gained about 10k power from all that. Use 194k. Now, the last thing to do is to get him plus 15, so we're just gonna do that. Now, the issue with this is that it... It takes 10 of these Shining Solutions to go to level 10, but then it costs 2 each once you get to the last 5 levels. 
We need 20 Shining Sins, Shinsu Souls and a lot of gold. Just to get him plus 15, but it's going to give you stats. So we're doing that. And that is actually going to be where my power goes up on Enryu. My second plus 15 unit. So white is at 213k power. I don't think Enryu is going to come close to that. Only because I'm not going to have enough legendary gear on him. And that's where like the power is kind of diminishing for me at this point. I would almost want to get the legendary boots, but I don't want to miss out on attacks. But he's just under, like he's not even under, wow he's way under, he's 198k with a plus 15 which is nuts to me. He's got 2700 attack, white has 2800. I mean this is just nuts. I'm like really running out of things to do to power him up. It's just got to be the gear. So I'll, I'll keep my options open at the freedom. I know I the, the purple boots are the worst thing. So if anything, I'm just going to get the freedom boots and see. I'll lose on 3.5% attack speed. But I would gain crit in exchange for that. And I would actually be able to get the refine reroll. But we're going to mess with equipment at a later date. Not doing all this yet. I'm gonna wait before I fully I have to fully power up Enryu. And then we're gonna get to doing stuff. Let me see how I can clear this real quick. <laughs> I probably still can't, no? Ugh, the fuck? Yeah. Alright guys, you thought we were done. Now you may have seen this account back there in white. But it's my brother's account. As you can see, complete free to play. Still with the max Elbelda in white. And it's, uh, envy you time. So to get more progression gameplay. And really show how monstrous he is. We're gonna be getting Enryu maxed out. So we have... 407 might not be enough but to the shop we go as you can see 100% free to play still has first purchase gift still has starter package that's a game error it's not sold out so let's see what we can do And there we have it. Get the reset bundles. So 210 more red. 617. Not needing a weapon, but I do think he does have the family one. So let's pray. We're praying for Hawkins. Praying for Enryu. Second time to go through this game, please. Enryu. Yeah, wow, first time. First legendary Enryu. Beautiful sign. Okay, Enryu again, come on. Now we got the that rock ignition, yeah, rock ignition weapon. We're not looking for that bullshit here. We got Enryu one over here, first dupe. Come on, game, don't be this dirty. Ooh, that's double Enryu, no. 
How the hell did this work? Did I not just get rocks ignition? Or I guess it was the enemy you did. Yeah, it probably was the enemy. But a shining soul stone, so an extra level for enemy. Yeah. That's number three. Need three more. Four. Four right here. Yep, four right there. Number five. Okay, one more. Still gonna look to be about average. And that's uh, that's actually below average, I think. Wow. My biggest shock is that he didn't get a single Hawking. I've seen Hawking so many times when I pulled, and wow, it just hurts because he needs a tank. And uh, no Hawking dupes, it's pretty rough. There we have Enryu. Here we go again. So we got him equipped with all this, and uh, now it's time to transcend him. Only problem is. My brother is missing the legendary weapon. Uh, gear is less important, but end up going for the skills. And then the only thing left would be the fate after this. And comparing him to white, Enryu is 125 while he is 143. So I decided to get him the gear booster pass. Because it probably is the best way for a new player to catch up with legendaries. If you do pass two, it gives you a weapon. And you can just get an armor piece from uh, pass part one. Even two gives you extra legendaries. But yeah, the biggest thing was just getting a weapon. Um, so we got the weapon, chose the Freedom Dreamer magic. And then the plan was to pretty much get the refines done. So... Um, it did end up going through a lot, but start at 600. Now the goal for Enryu is to get a legendary skill damage or gold skill damage. Unless you're trying to use like a jack of all trades freedom where it's good for Yuraha and Albelda, then it's probably fine to just stick with the 60% freedom dreamers gauge uh, or even 90% at that point. So if you're pretty much not min maxing for Enryu, Go for the 60% or 90% for Freedom Dreamers, so you can use it for everyone. Otherwise, you're going to want to end up actually uh, just getting the skill damage boost. That's the most beneficial for Enryu. But keep in mind that the Legendary Weapon won't be better until it's at least T3. So if you have the purple one at uh, T6 or even T5, it's probably going to be better than the Legendary. So here we went through the refunds and... You can see refining is still like one of the worst things in this game. It never gets better. Never, ever, ever does. So, but my brother did get some luck. So he got the skill damage boost as well as Freedom Dreamer crit, which is a pretty crazy combination when you're considering the base refine stones. At this point, I just have to go ahead and get the weapon to level 20. Get the maximized attack stat from that. And, um... Like I said, it's still not better than the purple one in his case, and he kept running out of gold. So, had to keep using the rice pots and, uh, you know, getting the gold from there. But it's pretty much a gold struggle. So, at least the weapon will be level 20 now. And I'm still contemplating about just trying out Freedom Dreamer gear on him. Because it will give him more of a power stat. But... I don't know if I want to lose out on the attack speed. So, yeah, he can't really get these legendary weapon transcend stones made. Because you're not really going to stack those up until maxing out administrator trial. But we decided to go into admin and see what Enryu can do for him. So, uh, that's pretty much the only place you're going to be able to see Enryu gameplay. Because I will say that... Despite all the changes and, you know, a max Enryu, powering him up as best as I can, using synergy comps and all that. 
my brother could not progress either. So it's like ridiculous. I mean, I've tried every single thing and in his case, he is just missing a tank. But the best thing is that you're going to see here for administrator trial, his damage has gone up so high in admin thanks to Enryu. So he went from 49 million to 67 in just this alone. And you can know that it's going to go up and progress in every single administrator trial. So he's like a cheat code for that. Then we went to my account and yes, I decided to I have two weapons. I decided I'm going to refine the second one because the one that I'm using for Euroha and Elbelda already has the 60%. So the goal was to try and get a legendary skill damage boost or a 90% freedom dreamer. And then I would just, you know, if I got it on this weapon, I would have transcended this one and switched everything over. Got the tower climber 90%, and I was like, great. And I kept pushing and pushing through these refines, and I just kept hearing voices in the back of my head. It ended up telling me that, you know, the worst kind of man is the quitter. So I just had to keep going, and I couldn't quit. So I was committed at this point. I mean, I was like, I'm going to use all 1,000 stones. Because at this point, I am min-maxing. On my account, I want to get a weapon that has skill damage boost for Enryu. Prioritize that to max, because you know, Yuraha and Elbelda don't need the damage. So I don't care what their weapon transcend is at, as long as they get to 60% or 90%. But it just shocked me to know that I went a thousand stones in, and I could not get either of the things I was looking for. So... Um, last ditch effort, I kept hearing that voice again, and I will not be a quitter, so I got the refined packs, and it gave me another 300 stones. So now I'm, uh, going to be 1300 in, trying to get some refines, and until the name hunt station event comes out, we can't even get the rainbow stones. So, I kept going for it, and, um, let's just say it just did not work out. So you guys watched me lose out on 1300 refined stones. Would have been just so much better to make other pieces of gear, use it all on other weapons, try to refine every single thing instead of min-maxing, but hey, you know, it's Enryu, so we gotta either go big or go home, and uh, end up going home. That was 1,300 refines for nothing. I was basically trying to get the legendary skill damage boost, or I was trying to just get the 90% for Freedom Dreamer, and end up getting... Power Climber and Grey Family. Um, so it's really bad. It's actually horrendous to think. And can't wait to put it off anymore. So I'm just going to have to transcend this weapon and keep it after all. Because I am trying to boost Enryu's damage. And uh, it is what it is. So we're going to take this magic damage boost up. Get all of this real quick. That should be a huge boost for him. I can also upgrade it a couple of times. Wow, that was actually pretty good, so... I guess the luck went somewhere else. I mean... It is what it is, so Enryu can finally hit 200,000 power. But, uh, still 13,000... Under white. Biggest thing will probably be the gear. His attack is only 60 less though. Uh, but he has less defense and H. So that could be... God's inventory, but I mean 13,000 power is such a difference. Wow, that's a, that's a random fusion. And I got White Candy's weapon, so that was kind of crazy. That's T4. So at this point, I'm just looking at what else I can do for Enryu. And I figured to just go through my inventory. 
use everything up. I spent literally like 50 million gold on refines as well as the 1300 stones for nothing. So to feel a little bit better, I figured, okay, I'm just going to use my gold up and I'm going to level up his skills even more. So to level up his skills, it just seems like you need every single skill. So I would keep it relatively balanced, get everything at level 11, and then you probably want to go for skill one and passive, uh, just like white. So that was the goal. I got his passive to 17. And at this point, I was going to try to just get all his other skills up there because his damage is nuts. And um, I wanted to fully power him up as best as I could. Went through all my Freedom Dreamer books, got all the skills to 14 at least, and uh, it all ended up being over 15, but you can see here white was 2015, 2015, and then Henry Yu has 15, 15, 17, 14, so still a little bit off, but we'll get there. Uh, also managed to finally get the last Hawking, so I transcended him to 6, and then I figured, you know, I'm just going to use my purple Shinsu crystals to level him up to t plus 15. Probably not going to use him because even if uh, Name Hunt Station comes out and I'm using full great family, if Ari Nieta's out, I'll probably have him max so that'll be my great family tank. Otherwise, I'll have Hawakin, I guess, to fill in. Then I figured to level up Blue Theresa Bomb at least to get all level 11s. I really want to use him in PvP and other things. Like, I think his kit is really sick, but his power is so low. And I can't do anything. I need more units to release so that he gets more units in his faith web. And I just need his revolution road to come out and for me to clear it. So that I can get the duplicates because he is going to get so much better on dupes. But for now, all we could do, I want to at least work on them a little bit. Make them usable. If the time comes, then I have to use them. Um. Uh, don't really have the weapon on him worked on either, but I guess eventually I'll just reroll for the 60% Great Family. Put that on this weapon, probably won't transcend it, so it's only going to be there for, for Blue Theresa Obama, at least in the beginning. So Guardian Boss was added as a regular function. All the keys carried over, so I'm on to the last one right now. You're going to see the power of Enryu with this one at least. As you guys saw, uh, the boss did die in about 16 seconds, and Ryu did about 1.7 million damage, so really insane. I mean, these bosses aren't really hard anymore, like the original were upon release, but yeah, I, I haven't seen Enryu's damage outside of this yet, and it's been pretty crazy. I also like the fact that Enryu and Sachi, I don't want to say they look similar sign or photo-wise, because they have the red hair, but... It's like that meme where it's like, you know, oh, mom, can we, can we get Enryu? And then she's like, we have Enryu at home. And it's just like a picture of Sachi. So that's the last one. Been doing these keys for a while now. Also, with the addition of Guardian Boss Raid now being a permanent function, we can now get accessories. And the way you get accessories are from here. So every single boss, every single chest is different. So let's take a look. From the Bloomer Guardian Boss... This is what you can see. And you do get the magic damage boost set. Get the blue ones for the accessory. Then they're also going to have the starlight pendants, which are the green version of that. Also, uncommon buff stones, which will be to upgrade the accessories. And then the common version. So the goal is right now to hopefully get accessories. The Mirotic Guardian or Mirotic has the destruction set. Which this one and the magic are the most important ones to get. This is going to be for white or any other physical DPS. The magical ones make sense. It's going to be for, you know who, Enryu, everyone else. So you want to get the magic damage boost. Guardians has this 
that, which is the magic damage resist. I feel like magic damage resist is not going to be useful outside of PvE, maybe. But unless you're really hard stuck on PvE, I feel like eventually you'd like to probably have one complete set of every single accessory. And then we also have the bull, which is going to be the physical damage resist. So, only four types. I'm hoping for a damage ones. You can also get rare gifts and uncommon gifts throughout it, as well as gold and other things. So, I'm going to open all these chests and see what I can get. I think I'm going to open from these because they don't give me the accessories I'm hoping for. Now, I did get the physical damage resist one, so there's something at least. At this point, I'll just take accessories just to equip them because you'd still get a base stat. So this one gives 91 defense, which is pretty good. Um, that's what I received from that one. And then we have the Guardian's God. So that is going to be giving me nothing. It gives me a common ring. Um, and as you notice that you're also going to be getting probably less of the good chests. So... This one gives physical. I think I'm going to take my chances with this one next, since that's for white. And I did get the ring. So, um... Yeah, I find it funny that I swear I just got the ring like three times, but I didn't get the other piece. So now we have the Bloomer Guardian one. And I didn't get a single accessory. That's not good. Um, I managed to get three rings. <laughs> and that's my set. Uh, on the bright side, one of them's a physical damage boost set. But, yeah, it's just kind of weird. I mean, I did get a blue one, so... That's very good. Rare quality. Um, but you will get these from dismantling the common accessories. They're also supposed to be in the shop. But you would upgrade the gear. You would hit advance to it when it's maxed out. But when it's maxed out, you would hit upgrade. And that, would, that should take it to the next... Uh, tier, I believe it can go from common to uncommon to rare. But I don't know. I don't have access to it. Um, yeah, I think for now I'm kind of screwed though. Those were all my keys. I at least take the 91 defense that I'll be able to get from this set. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to equip it up to every single person because that's all I got. Let me just have an overview with Enryu. So, he has 204,000 power. He has plus 15, just like white. Um, not much I can really do. I mean, I got really screwed on the weapon. And even if I could get more power with the legendary gear, I feel like it's just a downgrade. So I think this is the way I'm going to keep it. He does have 2852 attack. Compared to white being 2880. So despite the 10k power difference. They're fairly close. And damage stats. But. We're going to see how it actually performs. So white. He's been the powerhouse. It's ridiculous to think. But he's come out. Like maybe two months ago at best. And he's already getting replaced. While in Korea. White was pretty much the king for at least six to eight months, if not more, before Enry came around. So he has a really short lifespan. Um, still can use both of them. You're always going to need physical and magical units in this game, plus different families. It's never going to change. Skill wise, they both have 25 for fates. The skills, he has 20, 15, 20, 15, and then 5, but neither of them are using the ignition, so it's pointless. And you can just see he has more defense, more hit points. Slightly low, more attack. For Anryu, though, um, I also have different gods' inventory levels. So, Bug is at 14, and I think Freedom is either 11 or 12. Um, then we also have this. So, he his skills are 15, 15, 17, 14, 4. I wanted to get the pass at the 20, but I am out of books. So we're going to have to leave it at that. But we're going to see. I'm going to try it out at Administrator to see what happens. How much damage is going to be happening. And who's going to be doing more. But I think everyone knows that Enryu will be doing way more damage. And this time around, I did do Administrator Trial before I changed anything to my account. So, 
Today I did get a score of 212 million. Rewards are still capped at 150. Everyone else I think already put Enryu into the teams. So I'm the only one who has still yet to put him in there. I'm going to keep the same team, it's just unfortunate, but Ron is not going to have a place with me anymore. So um, I'm just glad that at least I didn't have to worry about uh, putting any more blacksmith cards or anything into him. So we're going to see what this team can do. That is absolute insanity. 340 million. Ridiculous. Just by having Enryu in the team over Ron, I've done 130 million more damage. Can I even understand this, let alone <clears throat> make it up? His damage is ridiculous. He did 46.71% damage in a team where everyone is T6, T6 besides Sachi. Because his weapon is T. And even if Sachi had the max weapon, he could probably do around White's damage. Maybe 45 million, but think I had white so stacked out and he has been carrying me everywhere and Ryu managed to do 90 million more damage than him it's insane that is just insane absolute insanity with this But I can't wait to see all my administrator scores now, and with Enryu, I should finally be able to clear all of White Armor to Eel to get the rewards. I am expecting it admin to get changed, and they're going to probably raise the rewards to be uh, 3 billion or whatever Korea is at shortly. I am kind of disappointed, though, that they didn't update... King's order with the release of Enryu. I know they're aware of what he can do, so um, it's pretty ridiculous to know that we're gonna be done with King's order in just pretty much two days. <laughs> like, wow.
I can't believe it, but I'm going to be swapping out white for Enryu for Tower of Hardship. Not something I'd imagine myself ever having to do. Well, that was ridiculous. I've never seen so few enemies on my screen before in my life. And I was finally able to clear level 70 of Tower Hardship thanks to Enryu. Went to double check the gear and I realized for four more legendary stones I could actually get to the next transcension. So I crafted two and I remember that the shop added it for the red currency of God's Bread. So I just bought two more. Had enough to transcend it and make it to T4. Now that we know that the selective summon won't use the blues, we're gonna do some pulls. So my brother count got to 200, got 222. We're gonna see, and we're gonna see what we get. Praying for legendaries, especially Hawaii, if anything. What we want. Master Ugly fucking it out. That's why Candy's weapon. Oh my god. That is like so bad. <laughs> Master Ugly, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! You get Hawakin and two legendaries. That was the first dupe. You get Ron dupe. You get. Bong Bong! Oh my god. He needs that for the faith level up. Oh my god, okay, that's actually like crazy. I don't know how many dupes that is for Ron. That's the first Bong Bong. Okay, we got. Oh, that's good, that's what we need. We need to see that. Mong game. Oh my god, Yuri Howard, like. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm -mm, come on, game. That's legendary. And a Verdi. I mean, pretty good. Could have been better. All right, let's go. Change of mind. Can I get the weapon? Please, Joaquin. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. We'll go without Bong Bong for so long, and now you're gonna get her left and right. Well, that was that. I expected to get more Hawakins for my brother, but it didn't work out. And the reason why we decided to get the weapon is because when you have the Red Rain, it equals the amount of attack speed that you would get from a base T0 of the Freedom Family, but you're also getting the 10% damage boost to bosses. So I figured it would make a difference um, because it is much better than the actual family weapon. 
Alright, so since the selection summon is not using blues, I can just go pull for them and pray I get Sachi's weapon. That's really all I'm hoping for at this point, or just other ignitions I don't have. And I get Beta, nice. I get Ignition, I get Rock's Ignition. All I need is Ignition Weapons. Evan. Yon dupe. I get Zhao Zhao's weapon. It might be T6. Get yeah, knock dupe. Verdi's weapon. Rock is T3. Zhao Zhao T6. And Verdi T. And I know it's supposed to be gameplay from NRU, so I'm, I apologize. This is all I have. But I did try to get you guys as much gameplay as I could. So you're going to be seeing that for about the next 10 minutes before I conclude and uh, give my final thoughts on NRU.
All right, guys, we finally reached the end of the video. I am just going to give my final thoughts and conclusion on Enryu. So I will say that I'm pretty disappointed that I couldn't progress any further. Story-wise, no luck at all. Rice Pot, still no luck with that stage. And uh, Tower of Trial is not updated right now, so can't even try that out. But I will say that his damage, as we've seen through Tower of Hardships and Administrator, are ridiculous. I was able to get a ridiculous score compared to previously without him. And uh, yeah, I managed to pretty much get all the Tower of Hardships to level 70 now without RNG. I couldn't be bothered to even clear 70 in the past because you'd have to just aim for the right buffs. Uh, but, you know, now I don't have to worry about the buffs. And you see his damage is ridiculous because you'll almost no mobs on every single stage. So, it's kind of crazy to think, but um, I still have to just focus on getting more defense over damage at this point. This is the final breakdown of what Enry will be. I have to just get accessories in the future. Maybe try out some legendary boots. I do still want to get Freedom Boots for him and um, hope that it does make a difference with just having crit instead of attack speed. I guess in the end it is only 3% attack speed against a lot of crit, but I don't know. I mean, it's not a commitment and I'm not ready for those kinds of things, but like I said, he is slightly under white in terms of attack. 10k power under him, but you know, I, I feel like Enryu's damage is insane for Administrator and Tower of Hardship. But the utility that White provides, I don't know. It's just something about it where I still think White is just as good as Enryu in progression. But I feel like White isn't fully replaced, especially because we can run both. Um, and in the case of my brother's account, on top of that, he just needs a tank. If he had Joaquin with a couple dupes in... Wouldn't need a tank, but that's, I guess, the issue is, like, if you are a player, um, you know, free-to-play or low-spender, and you don't have a solid tank like a Jensung or, you know, Hawaki with dupes in right now, you're going to have a hard time progressing as well, even if you have the damage in the units, just because you need to be able to survive. And that's why I can't wait for Emerald Ocean Yon, because that's probably when I expect to progress again, and she's at least, like, two or three weeks out. And another thing, too, is for those using Enryu, you really want to rush the thieving girl. So she is uh, level 51 in Bomb's Fate. But this is going to make, right now, it's giving Enryu an extra 54% magic damage boost. Which is just insane. So without the thieving girl, your Enryu will not be doing that much damage. But I would highly recommend if you have the starlights to go for this it is a must for him um and i think that pretty much covers it all i mean enryu is great but i did expect him to be so much better than he is i mean i don't know i think it's just if i was able to at least clear one more stage of the story or go to the next chapter i'd be like yes he is like the best all seeing all knowing whatever greatest evil greatest hero but yeah, the fact that he's only making Administrator Trials damages be super inflated. Um, I don't know, he just does not seem as good as I expected him to be. That's just that's just how I feel. I know for everyone else, you have a different story. I mean, he might have helped you guys progress like crazy. But for me, no, it's just the Administrator Trial damage, and that's really it. And uh, I did spend a lot of time for this video and part one. So if you guys could just please show support, I mean... Yeah, I already managed to max the season pass. I think it was just mostly from spamming gold. Like, I, I apparently have spent 221 million gold already. So that's what really helped the season pass get leveled up. Um, so that's already done until next month. But, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck with your pulls. Remember, we have Summer Zhao Zhao, Emerald Yon. There's going to be a Summer Rachel and a Summer Endorsey next month or two months from now. Like you guys just say, follow the roadmap. We have Gustong as well. So I would hold on to your reds as well. And with your Selective Summon, if you don't have a tank, 
probably a good idea to pick up even a T0 Jinsung because he might help you out in some cases. Or just pray to God for Hawaking Dupe. Until next time, guys, live Moss and stay free to play.